Hey there, YouTube. The head idiot here. Uh, what you're seeing up there is where my current weather station sensor is kind of mounted. And uh, I want to improve on that at some point, mount it directly to the pole rather than the backboard. But uh, until that happens, that's my mounting location, though I think I'm going to use a slightly longer pole for the new weather station. Uh, this one is an Accurite, which, you know, it's not bad. It lasted a couple of years, but uh, picked up a new one from a company called Ambient Weather. And, uh, looks pretty cool. And this one's even high-tech enough to uh, connect to the internet. And, uh, so I can feed my data up to Weather Underground in places. So, oh, what you're hearing there is some two-meter uh, ham radio activity. But, uh, so let's talk about the new weather station. Okay, so this is the new station I got uh, from Ambient Weather. It's their WS2902A. Uh, as you see, Wi-Fi connected, solar powered. Uh, pretty, pretty... Uh, just about this one. Well, let's open her up and see what we got here. All right. uh, before I go over the contents of the box, I did spend an extra, so it's like seven or eight dollars, and I got the bird spike kit for the uh, rain cup so that, you know, you don't have birds on them. Not that I've had an issue with that, but you know they offered it and it was only... Okay, so the first thing we got here is a huge manual. Well, not huge. I mean, anyone who worked in the old IBM days knows huge. Okay, so it's like a 46-page manual. Uh, and I imagine it covers quite a bit. But let's see what's in the box. Uh, you know, this judging from just its shape, I'm going to say is my, there we go, I guess that is the console, and I am correct, that is the, trying to unpack it, it should here quickly, which of course, whenever you're trying to do stuff like this quickly, it never works, so, all right. Um, don't have the film, protective film off yet, obviously, but uh, there's the weather console. Uh, it uses 5 volt AC adapter, but it also uses a, like a couple of triple A's as a backup battery in case you lose power. Uh, so we, we've got our, our console. Uh, this large item here. I imagine it's going to be my oh, yes, okay. So this is the main sensor or part of it. Uh, you have your rain cup over here. It's, uh, this is the solar panel, which has a protective film on it right now. And then you're going to have your anemometer and wind direction vane. Uh, I'm sure there's instructions on how to put all that together. Okay, this is the cup for the, the rain gauge. Which, it's a twist and come on. It's only, ah, there we go. And installed. Uh, I'm not going to bother putting on the bird spikes right now. Okay, this is our wind vane. Although, interesting, you know, when we grew up, they call these things weather vanes that sat on top of the old barns and the houses and that. Uh, when actually it just indicates the direction of the wind, not the weather. Well, I guess it does, you know, if you're getting a nor'easter or something. But, okay, so that'll go on. Uh, there's my mounting for going to the pole. Hey, guess what? The cups are uh, unbreakable. 
Okay, well, I might edit that. I don't know. And let's see. Uh, lastly in the box, we have a stand for the console. Imagine. Okay, well, it goes on there somehow. We'll worry about that later. And the 5-volt uh, AC adapter, as I was sending the rain bucket to the... So, that's what we have thus far. Uh, let's see what it looks like after it gets installed. Okay, so here is the console for the weather center. Uh, I've connected it up. Uh, you download an app to your phone or your device uh, and you connect this thing to your network so the sensor talks to this and then this talks to everyone else I think that's how it works anyhow uh, so you can check your high and lows of everything you have a min max button over uh, where is it? over here uh, you can set alarms, pressure, 12-hour, uh, 24-hour, 48-hour, wind, uh, gust, uh, maximum, and I forget what the other one is, rain, shows you your rain for the event, for the day, for the month, and total. Temperature, you've got your uh, high temperature, wind chill, dew point and heat index for your outside temperatures. Uh, it's very cool. Um, very pleased with it thus far. And uh, oh, one thing, it did take a couple of tries to get the communication with the network working, but that could have just been how I was standing in relation to everything. But very easy. Okay, so the weather sensor is up there. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, stepping over here, I can see it's clearly, clearly not level, but uh, it's the best I got at the moment. Uh, I'm trying to get them mounted off of that pole there. Yeah, assembly of the sensor head wasn't difficult. I just needed to twist the little rain gauge bucket a little further than I did when I previously um, and then you just need a small Phillips screwdriver for installing the wind vane and the anemometer cups uh, the wind vane is a half shaft deal and so is the sensor shaft so a pretty no-brainer there and uh, the anemometer well uh, that's the free spinning one and you know, well if you put one on then there's only one left and, well. so anyhow YouTube uh, thank you for watching and uh, sorry for babbling there for a sec have a great evening